Paranormal Activity 2. Before I start this, I just gotta show, look at how perfect this is. This is the receipt for the candy and chips that I bought. That was the price, 66. After experiencing what appeared to be break-ins, a family consisting of a father, his daughter, the father's new wife, and their newborn son decide to have security cameras set up. However, the footage they get suggests that there's something supernatural going on. I wasn't expecting to really love this film, and this was one of those cases where you hate to be right. It's not a terrible film. Kudos to them for staying true to the subtle effects and using our imagination to make it tense, creepy, and scary. This is very much a sequel, meaning everything from the first is basically still there. It's bigger, and that doesn't equal better, and overall, it's the same thing. The first one didn't need a follow-up. I probably audibly groaned the moment I learned that there was a follow-up. Or even that one was being made. The concept of the first one is not original. There have been movies about the supernatural for decades. And a lot of the early ones are really good. What was different was the approach. I'm not sure it's entirely unique, but it was creative, and it's not often enough nowadays that we see movies like that. The problem with this movie is that it is just more of the same. If you watch the first movie, this one isn't going to have a lot that you didn't see. It's not going to surprise you all that much. It doesn't hold up as well. I mean, the first one, Mika is constantly filming because he loves this new camera he's gotten. In this one, much of the filming is done just because the teenage daughter runs around and films a bunch of stuff. It just didn't feel entirely credible to me. I could see a teenage girl running around with a camera a bunch of the time, but some of the stuff filmed here is just clearly there so that we wouldn't be me missing that piece of the... It's not filmed because it makes sense that it was filmed, it's filmed because otherwise we'd be lacking some exposition. At its worst, this actually cheapens the first one. We again get a lot of scenes of the family just being a family. Some of these are fairly natural, others are quite forced. There's again no real gore, almost no violence. Other than the cast being bigger, the house is bigger, there are more cameras, the acting is okay, the characters are reasonably developed, and you may not like all of them, but they're reasonably credible. They have personality. You might not agree with everything they do, but this isn't going out of its way to make sure that we like every single character without any of them being obnoxious. It's again a lot of build-up, and obviously that isn't going to be as effective the second time. We get a little more of, you know, the picture being slightly out of focus, things not being filmed perfectly because they're amateurs, the characters in the film holding the camera, I mean. And this is one of the areas where it really just feels like it's making sure to do all the stuff that the first one did because we like the first one, so we'll probably be happy and pay to see the movie if we just get more of the same. In other words, a movie that's a sequel to a movie 
that was specifically about giving us something that wasn't exactly the same as everything else we watch is exactly what the first one was so we're back in that kind of vicious circle of Hollywood. Once again the first one just did not need a sequel. It largely is just stringing us along. It's 90 minutes and quite similar to the first but nowhere near as effective. And honestly if this had been the first in the series it still wouldn't have been that effective. I'm not saying it's completely worthless, but I will say that if you aren't really willing to just let go and ignore the fact that this really doesn't surprise you and that it is just more of the same when we really didn't need more to begin with, then you can enjoy it. I love the fact that the first one was actually popular. It makes me feel like we haven't completely been destroyed by torture porn and other horror that isn't scary. But I really don't think that we should make a sequel to the first one. And I'm hoping that they cut it here. What I would like to see is other interesting approaches to good horror concepts. The first one was a good concept with an interesting approach. We don't need a sequel to it, we just need more good concepts with interesting approaches. All in all, if you loved the first one and you just want more of that, well, rewatch the first one. And if you're sick and tired of doing that, I guess you could go for this one. That was my spoiler for review of Paranormal Activity 2. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time.